Today's reading is Isaiah 53. What's amazing about this piece of scripture is that it was written 700 years before the birth of Jesus. Wow, isn't that amazing? Let's have a listen to what Isaiah says. Who has believed our message? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before, before him like a tender shoot, and like a root out of dry ground, he had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him. Nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and familiar with suffering. Like one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows. Yet we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions and he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds, we are healed. We all like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way. And the Lord has laid upon him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away. And who can speak of his descendants? For he was cut off from the land of the living, and for the discretion transgressions of my people he was stricken he was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death though he had done no violence nor was there any deceit in his mouth yet it was the lord's will to crush him and to cause him to suffer and though the lord make his life a guilt offering he will see his offspring and prolong his days. And the will of the Lord will prosper in his hands. Yet the suffering of his soul, sorry, after the suffering of his soul, he will see the light of life and be satisfied. By his knowledge, my righteous servant will justify many, and he will bear their iniquities. Therefore I will give him a portion among the great, and he will divide the spoils with the strong. Because he poured out his life unto death and was numbered with the transgressors. For he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.